Um, okay, uh, so you usually want to put, you know, grass and snow in these areas and not really this area. So how can you go about it? You can do it in in um, in uh, just gonna make this really small, 0.5%. So I'm gonna reduce this, and I'm gonna do this, make that angle in uh, Modeler. I think the reason why I did this now is because this select by normal crashes actually. If um, if I got too many polygons, okay. So say four here, and okay, and I'll invert that and delete. Um, so now you can actually use this info for you know uh, creating your grass, your objects, and so on. Uh, that works. So you can just probably, well, I'm sure you could do that by, you know, by using instancing or something like that. Just set this object to invisible and, you know, add some uh, instancing, grass, trees, whatever. So you could combine these two guys. Um, but there's also another way to do it. Um, Actually, I could cut this info here into this object, but it's kind of like time consuming. I mean, the way you do it is that you actually take this guy in the background, so like that, and then you say Y stencil created something here, and then it will actually cut out this object, it will uh, cut out a new surface. So if you make that, you know. If you were to make that um, surface green or something like that, um, if that was to be, you know, green, then actually we'd have this object and a lot of green polygons here. That's how you can do it, but it takes a long time, and it's not that it's not that good actually. So uh, another way to go about it. Instead of doing this, okay, let's send this over to layout. Let's fix it there. So, in layout, um, just turn on VPR. Hmm, didn't remember I did that. Hmm, anyway, I already got this texture. How did I do it? Okay, so let's do that over again. Um, gradient. Click here. Set this to zero, for example. No, actually, I'm not. It's going to be hundred. I forget. I'm going to take this one and just select some kind of color here. Okay. Um, but here we're going to use slope. Okay. So this looks great. I mean, this could be snow or whatever. Looks nice. And no, uh, you know, you could just use this um, as a temporary guide, and then you know, uh, uh, bake this, for example, um, and then and then use that texture and and tweak it. Paint more snow down here if you want to do that but use this as a base. Uh, so you could do that. Uh, that's not what I'm going to show you though. Not in this preview. Um, so we got this, but we're going to create a weight map. Because as far as I know, uh, I can't really use this info uh, for the instancer. Uh, I don't think it supports texture maps, does it? Yes, no, I don't think so. Um, so, um, actually, let's go to this view, orthographic view, top view. What we're going to do here is we're going to go here, render, 
this stuff. No, we're not going to run over that stuff. Uh, lights. Turn off the lights. Uh, but make this luminous. So basically, here you go. Um, instead of baking this out, I just did that in VPR. So you can now print screen this instead of baking it. And then I can use that info in Modeler. So I drag this uh, print screen into or this image into Modeler. I'm going to use that info. How am I going to do that? White shade and map, texture point. Showed you something like this before. Y and create something here. Just call it mappy or something like that. Texture. You can close this one. Don't close this one though. Um, image map, yes. That one, yep. Automatic sizing, yes, but in the Y. Okay. Um, but it's not quite there. What you gotta remember here is that if you close this window, uh, you can't update, then it's done. That kind of like freezes the, the weight here. So, but I'm not really satisfied with this. It looks, well, doesn't really show what's going on here. So I'm gonna edit that image. Editing, brightness, just pull that way down and pull the contrast up. More up. Saturation, down. Okay, this turned completely black. Was that right? Let's go out here then. I think it's kind of struggling. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, all right, much closer. So something like this is what you want. Uh, the problem of video recorder is kind of like, you know, fighting a bit with this process too. But um, I think that's pretty good. So you can see that I can update this. Um, in the image editor and it will update the weight as well. So um, I think that's what I wanted to show you. So now that is freezed into the mesh and I can save that and uh, now you could use this info to create grass or trees with, for example, instancing. So, there you go. That's how you could go about it. Now, of course, it'd be nice to be able to paint in camera view as well. Uh, actually, there's a plugin, a guy's working on it, uh, Hurley. But uh, I don't know when it's going to be out, so we don't have that yet. Um, until then, this is an option. Create a weight map like this, and then use instancing on these areas by using that info. Uh, 